guys, what's up? I'm going to do a quick video right here, Leo Pozzo TV. Thanks very much for tuning in. Go ahead and subscribe right now if you haven't subscribed already. Today's video is going to be a quick review of this Cloud9 Protein Skimmer by Coral Box. This is a Coral Box Cloud9 Protein Skimmer. I forget how many gallons of uh, water that it's rated for. I've unboxed this skimmer in a video, so if you want to go ahead and check that out, I'll leave that in the description of this video, the link, so you can watch the unboxing or setup or when I initially got it. But now it's approximately a good 10 to 12 months from when I purchased this, and it's been set up in my tank and been running flawlessly ever since. Very impressed. Definitely recommend this skimmer uh, for the price and for the quality and the design and the performance. It is definitely worth it. I would definitely want to buy one of these bad boys again. Uh, the only thing that can pretty much break on the skimmer is the pump or I guess the controller or AC DC converter But those can all easily be replaced for a reasonable price um, Which I've looked into when buying a skimmer uh, You know inquiring about how much the pumps or parts cost to replace them Anyways, here is uh, just a quick review this skimmer collection cap right here hasn't been clean in approximately about uh, two weeks I'm gonna say more or less uh, I wouldn't say anything more than two weeks. Um, it's sitting in about a good uh, eight to ten inches of water here. I raised it up with the egg crate a couple of inches as that's the uh, recommended depth of water. Um, I forget exactly but uh, it's been working for me. It's at about eight to ten inches depth of water. The pump of the controller is actually set on full blast so the pump is on full blast as many gallons per hour. Um, that's where the controller and the pump is working at right now. Um, I have it set right here, which I don't usually adjust much because it's already been set for uh, many months. It's been working great as is. I have it set right there uh, between two and three. You can see right there on that white dot and it just easily gets turned and adjusted by here by turning this pipe, which opens and closes that valve there, which makes the water exit the skimmer body. You can see all the bubbles here. It looks really nice and foamy and bubbly. Um, collection cup is collecting super nice and thick bubbling perfectly nice and thick skin mate waste uh, you can even see here on the cap itself gave it a little wipe just to show you guys how thick this stuff really is yeah nice and thick it's pulling off that nice nasty stuff this needs to be cleaned out right now I'm gonna give it a quick little rinse little cleanup usually when I uh, clean out the skimmer um, I don't turn off the pump. I just leave it plugged in, turned on, keep it exactly the way it is. And I just pop off the collection cup, give it a nice rinse behind me in the sink, put it back on, and away you go. Don't need to turn on the pump, don't need to turn it off, don't need to do nothing. Just keep it running. As you know with salt water pumps and equipment, sometimes when you turn it off, sometimes it doesn't always turn back on. So uh, that's it guys, quick little review, Coral Box Cloud9 Protein Skimmer, I'm going to definitely give it out a 10 out of 10 review, very happy about it, it's been working fantastic in my 125 gallon tank, display tank, and this is my 75 gallon sump, which is pretty simple and straightforward, and uh, that's it guys, thanks very much for watching, Leo Potzel TV, if you have any questions let me know, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and that's it, we always got new videos, new things coming out. Lots of stuff happening. It's going to be a busy summer, 2016. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I just popped off the collection cap. I just gave it a rinse. There it is all nice and clean. And my pump is still on. Never turned it off. Just got to rinse off this lid. And I'm ready to go few little bubbles here in the tank nothing to be concerned about they're not reaching over here at all back in the display and that's pretty much a wrap give this bad boy a nice little rinse throw it back on slug that down and look how it automatically just slowly go back to where I had it bubbling and give me the same amount of waste in another week or two and clean that so let's go ahead and clean this lid okay skimmers all cleaned we're all back in action here this is 10 seconds after I pretty much just cleaned the skimmer collection cap 
and clean the lid exactly where I had it bubbling within no time this bad boy will be dirty again ready to clean out thanks guys for watching Leo Pozzo we out